load runner. It's a flagship load testing product from Mercury, now acquired by HP. It controls 70% of the load testing market share. And just for information's sake, uh, all the demonstrations in this tutorial are scripted in load runner version 8.1, but uh, they can be scripted and practiced on version 8.1 itself or any above version. In this tutorial, we will be focusing on three main areas of Load Runner: the Load Runner architecture, the basic process flow in Load Runner, and the general purpose of the Load Runner usage. Let's look into the Load Runner architecture. The system under test is a three-tier web application. Now, consider this to be Yahoo website, for example's sake. The task at hand is to test the Yahoo website for 5,000 different users accessing the website at the same time. Now it is physically very challenging and impractical to have 5,000 different people physically seated over 5,000 different machines and accessing the Yahoo website at the same time. So we need a way out. What is a way out? The way out would be if you could virtually generate users using software who could access the Yahoo website then it will bring down the manpower requirements as well as the infrastructure requirements. This is achieved using the VU host component of Load Runner. VU host uh, component is responsible for generating virtual users who emulate real user behaviors. The VU host machine generally are multiple PCs with a very high end configuration, very powerful RAM and processing speed. Say in the Yahoo example of ours, we could have one VUser host generating 1000 users. So in all, we could have five different VU hosts generating 5000 users as required. The controller is a machine which organizes, drives, manages and monitors the load test. So what are the obvious advantages? It replaces human testers with virtual users. So the manpower requirements goes down. Many V users can run on few machines, so the infrastructure requirements goes down. The controller is assigned to manage the V user, so the need for individually tracking and monitoring each V user is done away with. Uh, using the controller centrally, you can monitor all the V users. Concluding component LR architecture is the monitoring and analysis. Again, monitoring and analysis is done using a monitoring and analysis tool which could be available on the controller machine itself or on a separate machine. All the various performance meterizers like throughput, memory consumption, processor speed, etc. are recorded during the runtime and later analyzed using the analysis tool. So the advantages of using the analysis tool is it helps you analyze the results generated during the load test to be analyzed later. Also, another advantage of using automation tools is it helps in repeatability. So that's the LR architecture for you. The virtual user host, the control and the monitoring and analysis section. The three components are available as a bundle, as a package together or could be purchased separately in the market as well. So again, I look at the three components of Load Runner. The view generator generates the scripts and the view users. Now, what is the generation of scripts? Now, consider our same example again, the Yahoo website. Now, when the Yahoo website is being accessed by 5,000 different users, at any given moment of time, those 5,000 users won't be using the same feature or functionality of the Yahoo website. There would be certain group of people who would be accessing the email functionality. Certain Certain people would be searching certain people would be reading news and so on the goal or the objective of performance testing is to create load testing scenarios as close as possible to real life situations so what we need is in the 5000 users we need to divide the actions performed so certain users would be accessing the mail certain users would be searching and so on all these different actions are recording using scripts also, view generator is responsible for view users.
the controller controls and monitors the vhost and the analyzer is used for the result analysis so these are the three main components of load runner again the basic process flow in load runner the phase one consists of planning the load test what type of testing do you want to do whether it's a spike testing load testing endurance testing volume testing which scenarios to be covered which transactions to be covered what is the expected system performance and so on so this is the phase one of load testing which is nothing but planning the load test the phase two is nothing but creating virtual user scripts which is nothing but recording the various operations that the virtual users will do on the system under test the view generator is used for creating the view user scripts after the phase two you proceed ahead and create different scenarios the different scenarios would be uh, the order and the manner in which the virtual users would be accessing the system whether uh, the load on the web server increases by 100 virtual users every 2 minutes or it, it's a ramp down the load on the web server decreases by 100 users every every 2 minutes the order and the nature of transactions that the virtual users will do on the system under test and so on the uh, the phase will consist of running the scenarios now unlike normal functional testing load testing takes uh, hours to execute at times even days once the running of scenarios is done with the results captured during the scenario run are analyzed and compared against uh, expected values the component of load runner used during the phase 3 4 and 5 are the controller analyzer if there is any discrepancy between the expected results and the actual results the system is fine tuned again the scenarios are run again the results so generated are compared against the expected values again if there if there are any discrepancies the system is again fine tuned and again the entire cycle is repeated up till a point where the deviation between the expected value and the actual value is very small so this is the basic ela flow consisting of five phases and all again the types of protocols supported by load runner are the most comprehensive there are many open source tools also available in the market but they support only the http protocol like openstl and so on